here we go. Um, I've got my tubular frame, and I've got my front wheel and my back wheel. Okay. Actually, in real life, this rotor would be on the other side, but it's okay. It doesn't matter for right now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got my little thing here, and I'm just going to insert my wheel. So I put this into an assembly, even though it's not complete. But I'm going to put this in here. I know it fits perfectly because when I, when I rotate, this should match up. It doesn't run into here. I could scoot it forward. I could use this space to make a fender. But here is my back wheel. Now look at, this is the important part. I want these to kind of be pretty much the same height. Okay, so the bottom of this should be in line with the bottom of that. Okay, just like that, something like that. Okay, so then my fork, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, let me close this one. I'm, I, and, and it's important that you're not creating it in the assembly. When I double click on this, see how everything else grays out? I'm isolating this. And I have for the revolve I made in the front, I have a plane in the center of this. Okay, you can drag it off the side. You can use, you know, whatever to, to create that plane. But now on this plane, I'm going to create a sketch. And what I want you to see is this. So I'm going to create, so my fork... I want my fork to be basically like about like this and I'm gonna go even farther and I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna make this like let's say 40 40 inches okay and that's this is gonna be where my handlebar is gonna go and I'm not drawing the 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 part now uh, all I'm doing right now is is creating the um, the fork or the uh, the part that holds the fork. Now I may I may want this like maybe I, I I'm thinking that that this is too close, so I can return and I can scoot this forward just a little bit or down or whatever, and then when I go back to here I can just scoot this and do the same thing, and give myself my and now this is what you're kind of matching a little bit more to your planning document, okay? So on this sketch, I'm going to take and I'm going to do a new type of rectangle. I'm going to do this three-point center rectangle. And this is going to be what holds the fork. And then how I attach it, I'm going to do a neat little thing. I'm going to go to Project Geometry here. And I'm going to hit F7 or right-click and go to Slice Graphics. So what I have is something that looks kind of like that. And the reason for that is I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to do a an arc, because I want this to be an arc. And I'm going to bring it to the outside of this, something like that, and something like this. And I'm going to bring it up to here. You could do this a bunch of different ways. You could make them parallel to each other. Um, uh, concentric excuse me you can make them concentric so they're same width apart um, you could do multiple ones you could make this rectangular you could make it cylindrical you could do all kinds of different things to hook these two pieces together but you may want something that makes it a little bit stronger and maybe you want to do something kind of like like bring it out you know out farther or I don't know we'll see we'll see what's what I'll show you what you know what I mean by that but now what I'm gonna do is um, let's see if I can go to tangent between here and here tangent between here and here and um, I should be able to I think this connects but um, I'm gonna do this anyway and I'm gonna go to arc from this point to that point and I'll just create an extra arc go and then when I finish this I'm gonna go to extrude and you can do this a bunch of different ways you can make this go both directions this way and and this together but that doesn't look very good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this like um, I'll make this like three oops let me do that again extrude I'm gonna make this like three 
both directions. And then I'm going to share the sketch or turn the visibility back on, either one. And then I'm going to extrude this two inches. Two inches. Okay. And you can do all kinds of other things too, but um, then we'll turn the visibility of this off. I'm going to hit return. The last thing I have to do really is to make this look nice. Oops. Mr. Rogi didn't make this go both directions. Now, once I did this, okay, you want to make sure 100% you didn't create these in the assembly. You made them in the tubular frame because now I can save, I can save this and I can go back into my tubular frame. Oh, it's not here in my, there it is. So when I go back here, it saved all that stuff. Now, really the only thing you have to do is you have to have a hole for your, um, uh, for your fork. So I'll make this two. That's a good, that's a decent size too. Maybe even, you know, I can make this all bigger and whatever. But, um, so if this is supposed to be three, then I'll say 1.5 and, you know, anyway, we'll center that in, in later. And then you can come back in and you can fillet things and you can round things off and you can do all kinds of different, different crazy things. Um, I'm going to actually do a bunch of different things and I'll, I'll, you know, post up some pictures and some examples. But there's my frame. There's my, my roughed in frame. I can come back in and cut things. I can add things. I can fillet stuff. I can put in a fender. Um, I can put in grips. I can cut holes in this. Uh, I can do all kinds of things to this. But now that I have all my geometry, um, I know exactly what to do from here.